today I'll be sharing with you another tag. I've been tagged by Sis MJ and Sis Irene. Hi Sis, thank you for tagging me. This tag is called 50 Random Facts. I always love watching this kind of video because I've got to know the person better or a little bit better and you know sometimes i could say oh that's also me so yes let's get started so first is me and my son who is back in the philippines have the same birthday we're both born on may 21 number two we're only three minutes apart he was born at 1 57 p.m and i'm born at 2 p.m number three i guess having the same birthday runs in our family because my siblings both have the same birthday. They're both born on April 26. Number four, we're five in the family, four girls and one boy. Number five, I'm the second to the eldest. Number six, I used to be a gymnastics player. Number seven, I'm known back in grade school, high school, and college as that loud and talkative girls and everyone knows me. <laughs> Number eight, because of my high pitch voice, people think that I'm a arte or high maintenance or finicky. And they thought that I'm doing my voice on purpose, which I'm not. And some people get annoyed by it. So, yes. Number nine, if U.S. has a thing called Spelling Bee, Philippines has a thing called Quiz Bee, and I used to compete in Philippine history. Number ten, I'm a little bit of OC. I like things organized. I like my lipsticks in pairs and even in my bags i like them to be always organized if it's disorganized disorganized i'm like even where i'm at i'm actually organizing my bag so number 11 i remember back when i was in grade school like eight or nine years old i think um i always have in my bag a comb a cologne a powder and a lip balm Number 12, I got two motor accidents back when I was pregnant with my first son, with my firstborn. Um, I was six months pregnant and the next accident is when I was seven months pregnant. So that's explained my scars right here and I got another scar right there and right here and I have another scar right, right there. So yes, number 13, I used to hate the gap of my two front teeth because um, back when I was growing up and in my province, they said that if the meaning of having this kind of teeth is you're in Bisaya, you're bigaon, in Tagalog, you're malande, and in English, you're a big flirt, so I hate, I hate it. But now I actually love it. So yes. Number 14, I also used to hate my nose because in my province or in my country, Philippines, they said I have, I am pango or flat nose and if I'll get rhinoplasty or <laughs> maybe I'll be prettier. But that, it didn't get me. But I, I just used to hate it. I think it got me. But I always have like high self-esteem. So, <laughs> yes. Number 15, I'm such a cry baby. I cry over sad commercials, over sad movie endings, when Michaela says sorry to me, I cry easily. Number 16, I don't get mad easily. And number 17, though, when I get mad, it, my husband would say it's World War III because, you know, all those angers that I build up suddenly would just burst. So, number 18, my friend says I'm such a sweet person and an optimistic person. Number 19, I'm a happy person as well because, you know, when I first wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm happy. And <laughs> I know some people when they first wake up, that like they're grumpy, they, they don't even want to talk to you. It would take time to talk to them till they wake up. And some people when they're also hungry, they also get mad easily. Me, I'm still happy. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm just like that. <laughs> So, number 20, my favorite show of all time is Law and Order Special Victims Unit. I love that show, seriously. I think I wanted to be a lawyer because of that show. Anyways, number 21, I, I like clothes better than shoes not because of the reason number 22 back when I was in high school. People thought that I was a lesbian because of how I dress, because of baggy clothes and it was hand-me-down. So, yes. Number 23, I'm more of a drugstore makeup kind of girl. I know everyone is different and I am different and I'm more comfortable in drugstore makeup. And besides, you can't be walking around 
telling people how much your foundation is. It's how you carry yourself. It's how you use the product. So, yes. Number 24. I used to smoke. <laughs> I used to smoke. I quit smoking two years ago. I mean, I can easily quit smoking anyways. Back when I was pregnant with Michaela, I quit smoking right away, went cold turkey. But then after I gave birth, three months after I gave birth, I started smoking again. And then two years ago, I totally just decided that I'll just quit smoking. So, number... 25. I live in Japan for 5 years and that's where I met my husband. Number 26. I'm such a gullible person. I believe anything. Yes. Seriously. <laughs> Number 27. There was once a phase in my life where I used to party a lot. Like a lot. Not like a lot, lot, but I used to party. So, yes. I think that was like, I think I was 18 or 19 or 17. Yeah. Number 28, I love the wing part in chicken with bones, not the boneless one, but with bones because I like to nibble on it. So, number 29, I'm the type of person that who hates confrontation and, and even if I know that the person is lying, I'll never say anything to her because I don't want her to be embarrassed and, because, and I also know how it feels to be embarrassed, that's why. So number 30, I eat my chicken with ketchup. I know people I know how Filipinos do this, but I think here in the States they don't they actually find it weird. Because back when I was visiting my in-laws in Victor Victorville, we went out and I we were eating chicken, fried chicken, and I ate my chicken with ketchup and they were pretty shocked about it. So yeah. 31, I don't like nude nude and nude pink kind of lipstick i'm more into bold bright dark lipstick so i hate nudes i hate i hate nude pink i mean what's the point of wearing lipstick if they people can see it people you know people can tell difference out of it so yeah 32 is one of the proudest moment in my life is back when i was in japan and i was making michaela's paperwork i did it all by myself in japanese in which i don't really speak japanese that well so that was really one of my proudest moment and because in japan people don't really know how to speak english so if you would know the struggle that have been you would actually also been proud of yourself so anyways number 33 is <laughs> this was funny because number 33 back when we were um, visiting my in-laws in Vegas. They're from Vegas. Um, we went to casino and had a buffet and there's, there's two Filipina lady who came. Uh, actually, they grabbed my hand while I was getting some food. They grabbed my hand and they asked me if I'm Jody Santa Maria. <laughs> actually, Jody Santa Maria, if, for those who doesn't know Jody Santa Maria, Maria, Jody Santa Maria is actually a popular Filipina actress in Philippines. And this lady came up to me if I'm Jody Santa Maria, and I said no, I'm not. And then the the other lady was like saying, "Oh, I told you she's not Jody Santa Maria because she has a tattoo here, which I have a tattoo right here." And then and then that's it. I was just smiling, laughing, and then my husband and my illness was asking, "Oh, why does did why did those lady came up to you?" I said, "Oh, they were asking me if I was this popular Filipina actress in Philippines." And then my husband said that, oh, maybe you should have told them that it's you. So they're going to take pictures of you. I was like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so yeah. Number 34, my husband is the second guy that I dated who is older than me. So hi, babe. FYI. <laughs> Number 35, I love bags, designers or not. I love, I love them. And I was known back in college as that girl who changes bag every day. Even now, even if I'm home, I'm, I'm changing my bag every week when we go out. <laughs> so, yeah. Number 36. People also remembers me as the girl who loves Hello, Hello Kitty. So, yeah. Hi to all those Hello Kitty lovers out there. So, number 37. Me and my eldest sister have seven years gap. Seven years, yeah, seven years gap. Number 38. I used to love reading. I wish I can go back 
to the way I love reading before, but now it seems that I still have books lying around, and I also have a Kindle reader, so I think I'm gonna go back to reading again. My, my One of my goals this year is to re read at least three to five books for the whole 2016. So, number 39, I'm that... I'm actually pretty weird. I don't know if some people are like, I like this, but let's say like, for instance, I'm like cooking and then I'm cooking starting at 3.30 and then I finish sauteing at 3.32 or 3.33. I'll still, I'll still, I'll still saute for like three until I finish at 3.35 and then I'll, I'll do something again and then I'll do like, when I chop, I'll, I'll wait till it's three, I don't know, 3.35 or 3.40. I'll make that. So, Yes. 40 is, I can easily forgive a person. I'm proud of that because I can easily forgive a person. And number 41, I don't hold grudges to anyone. Number 42, I can cook rice in a stove. Number 43, number 43, I don't want to have kids anymore. Like, seriously, because it's such a big responsibility. It's not like you're just going to think what you can offer your kid for today, but you have to think, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you know? So, and you don't even know what lies ahead. So, I don't want to have kids anymore. <laughs> Number 44, I used to be a nursing student. Number 45, I have fear of heights. Like, yes, I have fear of heights. Number 46, I'm the type of person who does everything on Monday. Like, for instance, working out. I'll start working out on, on Monday. For instance, um, diet. I'll start diet on Monday. <laughs> Number 47, I am always on time on pers of person. Just because I'm Filipino doesn't mean that I'm not on time. I'm always on time. And that's one of the quality my husband likes about me back when we were dating because I'm always on time. 48. I tend to get bored easily. <laughs> I get bored easily. Like, when I watch something and then when I don't like the movie, I don't like it away. <laughs> I get, get. Number 49. Number 49 is I'm contented with what I have. Like, seriously, I'm contented with what my husband has given me. Like, I those designer bags, they will always be there. You know, when I have work, I can actually afford it, I guess. And besides, there's no shortage of those designer bags. Limited edition palettes, every year, they always have limited edition palettes. So, I'm actually contented with what I have. I can say that. And number 50 is YouTube taught me that everyone matters like i'm thankful that i'm doing youtube now because i believe that everyone matters 100 subscribers think of it those 100 subscribers believe in what you can in what you in what you can do in what you can offer even 50 subscri subscribers i'm happy with with having 50 subscribers and i wouldn't be here if if it's not for you so thank you for always watching for for believing in what i say so i hope you enjoy this kind of, kind of video and i hope to see you soon bye